Hi, welcome back to another episode of Southern Bell Unboxing. I'm Rhonda Hernandez. And I'm Carlos Hernandez from Damn Yankee Unboxing. And uh, this weekend we got a couple little trip hauls that we did. Uh, we've got Target, um, Toys R Us nice. closing down the last few days. Uh, box lunch, uh, Walgreens, fries, fries and that's it. that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my two items are specifically from Target and they are both clearance items. Clearance, bro. Clearance. We love a good deal. And first, um, I'm going to show this here. This is a Beauty and the Beast uh, glittery glam mosaic box. <laughs> I'm going to take it out of the box because I'm oh, actually so, going to use it. Alright, so I'm just showing you the box. You see the clearance yeah. sticker? This was three dollars and 88 cents and it's yes. really heavy and cute i like it she's gonna take it out of his yeah what was the original picture. price it's showing uh, original price was 12.99 12 12 so it's not that bad i thought it'd be more yeah i thought it'd be more than that but yeah. um yeah so it's a cute little uh little jewelry box and it apparently comes with some jewelry in it so oh, oh that's really pretty oh, it looks nicer than the box actually Oh, good. Oh, so you got to do it? I'm yeah. glad it doesn't have it okay. on there already. <laughs> All right, so here, I'll just... Wanna... So you can glitter glam it yourself with the little rhinestone diamonds. I thought it was already on it. Yeah, so did I. Um, I'm glad that it's not because I thought that was kind of... Cheesy. Cheesy, girly, you, you know, know you bedazzled. talk about it before I show them? <laughs> what? You want to talk about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just a simple uh, Beauty and the Beast. It's got a couple of... It's not... Um, images from the movie, but it's cartoon of the movie per se. Not not the cartoon Disney, but the real movie put into a cartoon. Correct, yeah. That's Emma Watson, yeah. uh, the cartoon of Belle by Jodie Benson. So it's got Williams. one um, image on the side here where she's in the library. Um, and then on the back here, it's got Cogsworth, Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and Chip saying be our guest with the rose. And then on the back here, it's her with the rose and her ball gown bell. And I know you can't see because of the I'm gonna, distance. I'll show it. I'm going to show you. Bro. Yeah. I'm and gonna... on top, it's got the ballroom scene. Uh, not with them dancing, but just got the rose globe um, with the rose on the side here. And it just says... give them a 360 view. Oh, it says, beauty is found within. Uh, and then the drawer, no? Well, you're not gonna well I thought you were going to do oh, 360. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll do the 360. Yeah. While she keeps talking about beating the beast. Is yeah, so... Top? Um, everybody knows huh? <laughs> Beauty and the Beast is my favorite. And this is just glare? really pretty. Because I have a jewelry box, but I've had that jewelry box since I was like 12 years old. Uh -huh. It's kind of worn down. We got it at a garage sale back then. <laughs> so the, I'll pull the drawer out for, first. So it's just a little pull out drawer. Mm -hmm. It's made of cardboard. Yeah, that's so it, Do it's, the top first. It's Open it up, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. Oh, it's a nice little deep drawer. There's nothing inside of it. It's a powder blue color. Yeah. Yeah, so you can put a couple of good things in there. Yeah, it's got some depth. Yeah, definitely. And then top opens up. Oh, oh that's cute. Oh, I like that. Okay, so it's got inside of it more, more bedazzle stickers. They're like metallic squares. Mm -hmm. It comes with a glitter gel pen in pink in blue and in yellow so give those to the kids they'll use those oh so you're not going to do anything with it no i don't want to bedazzle it all right this is uh, I, like this. I like i'm gonna put that sticker on there <laughs> it's so the it's, beauty you found it's, within but beauty with gold, within, so. it, it matches the top yeah so this that will go on top of this i was gonna say you can literally do that yeah, yeah. and then oh, comes with oh a it's just notepad. a little notepad there's nothing really um, symbolic on there per se. Mm. Um, and then it's just the little instruction, instruction <laughs> book that comes with it. So it, it's a cute little box. Yeah, it's cute. Cool. Um, the top doesn't have any like a, you know, cushion for you know rings or earrings or anything like that. It's just a you know depth uh, jewelry box. So it's it's cute. Yeah, I like it. Definitely, we'll put a couple of. Good things this, she should say this for last. I don't know why she bought I'm the sorry. other thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And this was three eighty eight. Now watch when she shows the other thing and see how much that one costs. I don't understand it. Here you want to stick. Oh, you want to put it back in? Yeah, let's stick that back in there. Let's put the. Oh, more stickers. Yeah, inside. This is really cute. I honestly thought it had the beads in it. It sounded like it had beads in it. Yeah. Um. So this here, uh, 
was nine ninety eight. Really? No, no, originally. Yeah, but. Originally. And then it was at only like fifty percent off. Well, let me see because it's got double. This was more. This was like seventy five percent off, and that was only. Well, it's got it's got a double clearance tag. Now she's Same worrying price. about stickers. Same price, nine ninety eight. No, no, I was thinking if it was a different price. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, like yeah. if they did clearance oh, double. Oh, okay, nine ninety nine. Okay, yeah. so originally it was nine ninety nine, uh, and I got it on clearance for four ninety eight. But it oh, is a plumet trinket box, and. I to read about it. Uh, included is the trinket box, a marboa boa, two clipboard shapes, uh. Chipboard. Chipboard. It looks like chipboard. Uh, two adhesive gemstones, foil, gold sticker sheet, two 12 gleb, glue dots, two paper embellishments, easy to follow instructions. So we will cut this open. Come on, this sticker does not want to come open. Wow. Oh, this is cute. It's not as cool as the, the jewelry box. Hey, that should have been first. This, jewelry box second, and then my is, cool stuff this next. Is, this is cute. I like this. So, it's a little shimmer metal holographic. That's the yeah, word. It's got a hologram type Holographic shame. type thing on it. You want to just open it up real quick? Oh, yeah. And then inside, nothing inside. Nothing inside of it. Yeah. But I'm just going to put it Rabbit. together real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it together real quick. So oh, really? easy to follow instructions. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so I see stickers. what it, it is. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Shining gold. So basically, I'm not gonna do this on camera. Yeah. It's gonna take me some time. Yeah. But basically, what you do is you put glue. the glue dots around the edge of the thing. You then uh, stick the glue dots on top with Plumet's boa. Make that on top. And, this and then is you there, right? you put Plumet together. I did that for her. Plumet. Okay. Plumet. And then it's got the foil gold stickers to put on yeah, the, the surrounding. So this is basically what it's going to look like. She'll do yeah. it nice and show it in another video. So I'll have it on yeah, the side. Yeah, I'll, I'll have her. it all to the side. Yeah, so right. it's really cute. I, I like this. I, I like the box better, but this is kind of cute. <laughs> the way he looks in the box. It's like a burger. <laughs> um, well, then, show, show them the finishing product. Yeah. So I, I think, oh yeah, that's right, because you didn't let me. But here. This is the front. It's really pretty from the movie. Emma yeah. Watson and Plumet in the background. And that's a close-up picture of what it would look like that's when it's done. That's what it's going to look like after it's done. And these are the instructions, which I did quickly without really going Ooh, over. Ooh, I could use the okay. glitter gems I'm not going to use on there and put it on there. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, so while she puts that away, i do this real quick because I don't want this video to be four hours long. Um, so we drove to FYE, and uh, a couple of months ago, we showed uh, Glow. Rise. Uh... A couple of months ago, we showed Glow, the Breakfast Club, on Blu-ray that I got for $1.99 at Google. Uh, and she loved it. And obviously, everyone knows that Breakfast Club is transcendental and uh, transcending. And everyone will love that movie because it's one of the greatest 80s films of all time. Uh, John Hughes, one of my, if not his favorite, my best, his favorite movie that. Um, so we were driving around and we saw that it just got released on Criterion that day. And I was like, oh, we got to find it. But uh, Fry's was like, they were doing this whole thing. They were fixing up their Blu-ray section. Their whole DVDs were in a box. And I was like, what? Um, and at that time, Amazon had it for $22.96. A month and a half later, uh, we did end up going back to get it. Um, so uh, we did get the Breakfast Club Blu-ray Criterion version. And it would be, they met, well, Amazon and them had the same price for $24.99. So I lost two bucks. But this is the only reason why I got this, because I was happy with the, the DVD, you know, uh, or no, I got a Blu-ray, Blu the regular Blu-ray, yeah. happy with it, but since I've been a kid, I saw this movie when I was 14, and it changed my life, but anyway, I watched it on TBS, or so, it's like when cable started coming out, and they, sh they showed it on TV, or even, I think it was uh, uh, WPIX, which was Channel 11 back in New York way back when, and... I saw it, I was like, wait, I don't remember that scene. I don't remember that scene. And they had, since they had to cut out stuff because it was a lot of cursing and suggestive stuff, they added scenes. So when it came out on DVD way back when, nothing. When it came out on Blu-ray way back when, nothing. And I'm like, what the hell? I said, I remember scenes. The movie's like an extra half hour long. So this is what Criterion does. This is why I love Criterion. 50, not 15, but 5 zero, 50 minutes of never before seen deleted and extended scenes. And this is the only reason why I spent the 25 bucks. 
And let me tell you, the scenes weren't bad. The scenes were really good. There's a lot of stuff that, that, that goes into Bender's background, Claire's background. It's a lot more stuff. To, and the movie's great as it is. But with these scenes, the, and it's funny because I remember way back when when they were trying to nominate the movie for, for awards. And I was like, I don't think it'd be award worthy. But I'm assuming it was like because on that alone, the, the scenes are really good. But so we got that. And um, that's and, uh, coincidentally, yesterday, which is the day we bought this, was uh, the thirty fourth, thirty fourth, fourth anniversary yeah. of, of the Breakfast Club. Of the Breakfast Club. So, so we didn't even put two and two together till we got home, and we saw the little clip online. I was like, oh my god. So I'm gonna we're gonna do the rest of it because I'm like worried about my space on my phone, even though I did delete a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna do this real quick. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of things. Um, uh, it's it's more cap centric. <laughs> um, I'll show you real quick. We went. To, we've been looking for these Avengers Infinity Pops for the longest. So I did find the only two I wanted, which I'm not going to go into the whole Funko news, but I did get Iron Spider at Box Lunch, and as you see, it's an amazing pop. Uh, I hate the glare, and I hate that we can't do it. But that's the side view. That's the back, all the pops, and this you can see the best without the glare. And I thought I was happy that I got it. They had only two left when we went to uh, last week. Yeah. And then Funko News says, "Oh, guess what? They're releasing a, a, an exclusive with the the, the legs, the arms. the arms." Oh my God. So anyway, uh, hoping that this is a hot commodity since I can't find, no one can find them, and I can get rid of this one. But even though everyone's gonna go for the one with the legs. So thus ends non-cap stuff. So that's my Iron Spider from the Infinity War pop. So I also got this, and again. You know me, um, uh, that's my man Cap right there. I believe in Cap, uh, circa aughts, turn of the century. Oh, Cap. Um, Cap, oh yes, and oh, we didn't do this. But my new engagement ring is Cap. Oh, you, you can't really see it. Oh, but that's my Cap ring she gave me. Give me some. Ah. So I picked up the Cap. Now let me tell you, so there's, there's two things I know about Cap. What he stood for in the aughts. And of course, a beard. And Cap with a beard, anything that has a beard. Spock with a beard. Cap with a beard, you know, anybody who has a beard is rocking. I can't wait to see this movie. He rumors that my man Cap is going to pass on in this film like he should have done at the end of the Civil War, uh, I believe. Uh, but again, as you all know, the Infinity Stones in the comic book. I'm not giving away spoilers from the film. Uh, he does, he, he can't be brought back. And I'm pretty sure it'll be Iron Man or Bucky or uh, Falcon who brings it back. Mm -hmm. But yes, so that is my Infinity War Cap pop. So I'll put that here on the camera. And then yesterday we went to Target. And Target had a clear. I took off the sticker because I'm I have the money. I'm anal, but they had the wacky wobblers for five bucks. So it was four ninety eight, and uh, I said eh, why not? So I got the Captain America Civil War wacky wobbler, and it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice in scale. I mean I don't care about the head moving. I don't take things out of the box, but I love his pose. It's a I'm gonna kick your ass type pose. He's got his shield. It's very long and lanky. Yeah, and um, I dig it. I mean, I'm not. I mean, if they, if they, I, there's a Winter Soldier one too that I heard about, but I've never seen. Mm. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy with this. Five bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, and like I said, it's bigger than a pop, as you can see here, bigger than a pop. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And then we got at Toys R Us because, as you know, Toys R Us is closing. Yes. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video or not. I know Funko News is making me feel bad about <sighs> reveling in their closing, but they had like for a dollar or whatever. They had those little. Um, mini bags of, of the records it's stupid they never made them in real life but they had that captain america <laughs> record and as i opened it up and to see what it looked like uh so it says captain america greatest hits you see it's jack kirby art from uh the 60s and 70s and inside is this little keychain of a record and uh the front is jack kirby cap and in the back is his logo from the 70s captain america so for a buck, you can't go wrong. It's not bad. You yeah. put it in the album, like a, like an old album. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that up here. And then we got this. And uh, toys, it's 30% off. Um, these were already like 10 bucks. So I didn't mind paying uh, the 7 bucks for it. It's the little Mighty Mugs, which came back, which is funny. Hasbro just brought these back from the dead, and now <laughs> this place is closing down. But uh, they have them in other places. But as you see, uh, wait, push his head. Now he's... Is he angry now? Now he's like angry cap. Ah, oh, I'm fighting America. And then you have, oh wait, same thing. Oh, oh crap. Seven okay, and then you have series cap. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in uh, a free world and not uh, America, what it is now. And then you have, hey, I'm cap. I'm a, I'm a good looking dude and uh, girls dig me. So you got all three faces of cap. Uh, I gotta put that further to be smaller. And then last but not least, because this video is long, but I've been waiting since May of 2017, when they first announced this, 
And I went online back after the summer when we didn't find them, went to every single Walgreens in America, and I saw it on eBay. I think the cheapest price was $24.99, yeah. but I couldn't, I couldn't just fathom paying $25 for adorbs. But walked into this Walgreens on the way to, to get JC today, and I found the Walgreens exclusive Iron Patriot adorbs. Oh my God, it's amazing. Everything you heard about, oh, I'm not gonna share that. Everything you heard about is true. Um, I, I hate the glare, but you can see it. I have it in my hand. And then we went to another one. This is the only one in that store, and it was mint. We went to another place, and that's all they had. That's all they had. They had iron paper. It's like they got all the shipment. And so if everybody wants to know what happened to them, in Texas, in the Walgreens, they got every single fucking box of this. But this is amazing. As you know, Iron Patriot is one of my favorite. In, uh, in Pearland, Texas. In Pearland, Texas. <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite villains of all time. Norman Osborn became the Iron Patriot, and the Dark Avengers was born. One of the greatest time to read comic books back in the in the 2008, 2007. But I mean, I know the movie destroyed it, and then Rhodey is Iron Patriot, and they put it into the comic books, and Punisher became the Iron Patriot for a bit. Uh, and then in the little cartoon, the greatest moment on this 30 minute cartoon on Netflix with Captain and Iron Man is fucking Cap wears the Iron Patriot costume to fight with the uh, Iron Man. Oh, it, it was a pale. But I got it. Very happy. So there you see all my caps. Uh, can I move these back? Yeah, yeah so yeah. perfect. There's all my caps in one spot. I'm very, very happy. It was a great weekend. Mommy and Daddy weekend all to ourselves. And I'm very no happy kids. about it. Uh, so this is it. So guys, um, stay tuned uh, for our next video. I know this was a Southern Bell video, but it seemed like more money is longer. <laughs> but um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Rhonda's got some videos coming up for her oh, yeah. channel. So you guys take care.